Okay, guys, uh, would you mind introducing yourselves? Peter? Yeah, my name's Pete Ball. Um, I'm the coach, a player coach at um, Farnborough, Blackhawks in um, Farnborough. Um, I've been playing a long time, 20 plus years now. Um, played for loads and loads of teams, highest level in this country, trained with GB. Um, now I've come to the stage where I want to start coaching, and I'm doing quite a lot of that at the moment. Excellent. Pauline? My name is Pauline McDonald and um, I currently play for Blackhawks who are based in Farnborough. Um, I'm an ex-international athlete and I've just recently retired. Um, I went to Beijing 2008 Paralympic Games. Superb. So t tell me about how you first got into wheelchair basketball. Um, I got it from school. Um, I started playing when I was about 13 and I haven't stopped. Um, it's the best thing. Um, it wasn't just basketball at the time. I did swimming and loads of other sports as well. Me and I played at school as well, and then because I went to a skating school, so it was very available. And then when I left, um, I I was just a bit too shy really to go and join anywhere. So kind of about seven years after I left school, I didn't play competitively, and then um, watched the 2004 Paralympic Games and inspired me to get back into the game and went and joined my local team, and it went from there really. Excellent. Um, tell me about some of your first, first coaching experiences. Um, mine basically was when I left school I, I joined a league team hoping to, to sit in the background, enjoy it, get used to it, but suddenly I found myself one of the main players and I was coaching really from day one. I was put on a course in my, in my club and I've been coaching ever since. Um, may have got in the way of my playing career a little bit, but no, I've enjoyed it. It's been good. Excellent. Pauline? Myself, um, I'm not into the coaching in the big way yet. Um, I've only got a level one, so I'm one step down from T, so it just basically just means I'm an assistant to a coach. But I've done quite a lot of um, coaching days with T and helped out, and I enjoy certain aspects of it. All right, which, which aspects of it do you enjoy the most? <laughs> um, I enjoy kind of uh, doing the backup role, kind of being the assistant I'm quite good with, and passing on my experience. I've had the I mean, privilege to be coached by some of the best coaches in the country, so I enjoy passing things on that I've learned from them. Arguably in the world, I mean, uh, GB yeah. are ranked pretty high. They are, yeah, yeah, to be honest, yeah, there's a couple that stand out that would be up there. Excellent. So um, what, what would you say that you've got, not just from the sport, but actually being a coach and being a leader in the game? Um, you get so much, it's amazing, like I said, I'm coaching my own team now, just seeing beginners come in who've not really played the sport and then develop into a good player and end up in the top team, it, it's flattering in a way that I can help people develop, develop the skills they need to play. Okay, and Paul, um, as an athlete, what would you say that you've got most from coaches? Um, I'd say the main thing being confident. To me, a really good coach, although they need to be technically good, if they can build your confidence and make you believe in yourself, that, that for me is the main thing, and that makes me say it when I know a coach believes in me. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> last thing, in terms of... Um, if there are other young people or, or adults who want to get into coaching, what, what would be the first step for them if they wanted to get involved in wheelchair basketball? Um, basically just come and have a go um, and then we can put them in the right direction to get on a course uh, for your level 1 or your level 2 um, and we can help them, not a problem. And if there are coaches who have maybe come from kind of um, able-bodied basketball, is there a, do you think there are transferable skills yeah. there? Yes, yeah, without a doubt. You can you can put, convert quite a few drills that are the ABs into our wheelchair game. That's not a problem. The ABs? Yeah. <laughs> Alright ladies, so what are your names and which school do you come from? I'm Boglasa Bazai and I'm from Kantar. I'm Fiona Campbell, also from Kantar. Okay, and what have you been doing today? We've, we've been doing blind football and basketball and wheelchair. Fantastic. Is this your first time in wheelchair basketball? Uh, I went to watch some in um, Kensington in London once because um, our friends have wheelchair basketball, but I've never really tried it. Excellent. And what were your first impressions? It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> really good. The coordination was a little bit out, but yeah, <laughs> left, right. Awesome. And what, what do you think of the coaching today? 
really good the skills help you kind of you yeah. know it's, it's learning each bit and then trying to kind of pull it, it together, together kind yeah. of pair it up it's yeah, <laughs> difficult but it's really good helpful to kind of get everything smoothed out yeah. kind of awesome and then, do you think you try this again definitely yeah, yeah.